And now I present to you James B. Madonna and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Okay. We are back. We are back. This is our pre Happy New Year's 2016 show, our special New Year's Eve show, pre New Year's Eve show, because the next time we will see you, it will be 2016. So, therefore, I have no choice but to call it that. <clears throat> and it is not just any typical New Year's Eve. 2016 is a very important New Year's Eve because in 2016, in my opinion, there will be one of the most important, if, if not the most important elections in the history of the United States. And, and, and the most unique um, political campaign that I've ever seen you know, uh, with the participants involved, and uh, when I say the most important election, I've never seen an election with anybody of the likes of Senator Bernie Sanders. The rest of them were very, um, very uh, uh, run-of-the-mill, cookie-cutter, uh, uh, capitalist, uh, two-party system, uh, uh, corporate whore types, puppets, puppets as you would uh, say also, uh, for those that are uh, up on things and uh, have uh, normal intelligence, yes, they are puppets. They, uh, there are still puppets today running for president, but um, there, there's no, there was no candidate that was pushing for a revolution, a major revolution, but um, unfortunately life in America has gotten to the, the point, the brink, the edge of the cliff, so to speak. Our society is at the edge of the cliff, like lemmings are before they jump into the Pacific Ocean, and um, we have um, based on survival we have a necessity for a revolution in society and uh, politically in the United States where it, it's not just uh, making things nicer for the mainstream or making people smile more and happier it's not just that it's a very survival of it so um, I salute this very special new year 2016 and I wish everyone a happy and safe New Year's New Year's well New Year's Day is is kinda like a Sunday holiday you know Sunday dinner New Year's Eve is when people get into trouble so remember buzz driving is drunk driving so safety first and uh, Stay overnight wherever you are if you had too much to drink ha or have a designated driver, but they will probably get drunk also. <laughs> mm -hmm. Seven bells for the drunken designated drivers. But um, welcome to Progressive Discussions. That's the name of the show. For those that are uh, um, consistent uh, watchers of us, you already know that. I'm your host, James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21, and I would like to introduce my illustrious co host and mentor and the very founder of Newsletter Censored in 1977, uh, the, the one and only the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How are you feeling this holiday special show, sir? Yeah. All right, you're there. You're breathing. Okay. Barely. The disembodied, mysterious Barely. voice of the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Um, we're coming to you from the uh, Newsletter Censored Research Center in Northeastern New Jersey. And um, I was discussing 
uh, with other people about <clears throat> when a person is lucky enough to become a celebrity mm -hmm. in the spotlight mm -hmm. and they they have found fame and fortune uh, quite often they they take it for granted that that type of career is a very fickle and very short-lived because you might be in the news every day and night and then all of a sudden poof nobody hears from you anymore you know remember when they used to talk about Justin Bieber all the time now nobody Justin talks Bieber about Justin in the paper today oh, oh really he did something bad second right? page he did I didn't even read it I don't read about Justin Bieber no neither do I I'm just saying um, that uh, it's 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 a fickle career the same thing with um, modeling the whole thing, modeling, acting, uh, musical uh, performers. Politics. Politics uh, can be very fickle. You can be uh, popular one year, uh, and then you're gone. Don Juan, and then he's gone. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's just how it is. Now, um, somebody was sent to prison uh, i believe for collecting rainwater on their own property mm. oh gee so i guess i guess um uh, uh government or should i say corporations now feel that they own the clouds in the sky that mm. reminds me of what my grandfather used to say when i was a kid mark my word they're gonna have a meter on how much oxygen you inhale uh, you yep. know what? He had foresight with a lot of things. <laughs> yep. You know, he used to say during pro wrestling TV tapings, he says, "Mark my word, it's going uh, the the uh, the society will will become more and more uh, uh, bloodlust <laughs> oriented, where they will bring back the Colosseums Coliseum. of Rome." Well, the gladiators. Well, look at UFC, the Ultimate Fighting. Uh, uh, Competitioning, uh, competition, mixed martial arts, Bellator, they're they're, they're trying to take they're each other. They're almost there. Yep. They're all. They bleed. They 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 bash each other's faces in. Mm -hmm. They try to take each other's heads off. It's getting there. So, uh, mm -hmm. being that my grandfather was a um, uh, a very devoted uh, FDR um, uh, uh, d Democratic Socialist, he admitted it. He didn't mm -hmm. even say democratic, and uh, he used to tell me about Republicans all the time, and mm -hmm. it was a lot of the same things you hear today mm -hmm. from Bernie Sanders. So he was, uh, I guess, I guess people like him were did not get any media attention ever. I'm gonna sneeze. Go ahead. Ah. <coughs> God bless you. Salute. I don't know why they, they say that, but because they feel your soul went out when you sneeze. Well, I know one thing. One thing I notice we'll is I, back in, my so eyes close when I sneeze. So. The sneeze has been likened to an orgasm without the pleasure. Okay. Well, the only thing a sneeze does is it it removes the desire to sneeze until you have to sneeze again. Well, the orgasm removes the, the <laughs> I know. reflex the, until you want to do it again. Do it again, do it again. I know. But anyway, um, yeah. you know, the, the same old crap is in, 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 in the news. Um, Donald Trump continues to say outrageous things. Um, there was uh, a funny cartoon I was uh, looking at uh, where Donald Trump is telling uh, John McCain that uh, I don't like people that were captured and, and then McCain says, well, I don't like people that, are, that were draft dodgers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, but you know, Trump uh, is Trump. You know, I, I mean, whether or not he's serious about being president of the United States, I'm not I don't know I really don't know I tend to doubt it but you never know you know I mean but he is entertainment he um, 
he does he does have his insane following his ha ha uh, following with hatred yeah you know he plays upon these people that are very bigoted and they love him for it but uh he's a blessing in disguise for bernie sanders because people are afraid to debate him in the republican debates because he'll tear into uh these people and expose like them. he did alan greenspan Oh, really? Oh, that's good to hear. He did? Hmm. No, you saw the part of the video. When oh, you're, Greenspan you're talking was about Congress. You're talking about Sanders. Yes. Oh, yeah, he tore him a new asshole. No, mm. I, was, I meant mm. Trump. Like, Trump is... Ah, Trump. Trump is, is... Trump won't debate. He'll call names. Trump... Yeah, but... That's it, not debating. But, but if he has dirt on, on some of the... Uh, other Republican candidates, he'll bring it up. No, I'm talking about a debate between a Sanders and a Trump. Oh, forget it. Jeez. Forget it. That's like Nikola Tesla d debating uh, Gary Busey or something. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a it's a cakewalk for for Bernie Sanders. Uh, or any Republican versus Bernie Sanders is a cakewalk. I mean, Bernie does a great job debating Hillary Clinton. Yeah, he does. You know, but um. Of course, you know, I had that uh, dispute with one of our uh, most, one of our more intelligent uh, Facebook group members. Uh, he feels that uh, it would not be right for people, even if Bernie Sanders has immense, enormous momentum mm -hmm. by election day, he feels it would not be the right thing to do to... Uh, to write in Bernie Sanders' name and that uh, we all should go with uh, Hillary if she's nominated. And I said, so what you're saying is, <clears throat> what you're saying is Americans should settle for the lesser of two evils again and the corporatist system will continue again and mm -hmm. again and again. Nothing will, very little will change. That gentleman doesn't know anything about voting. When you give your vote to the one person, and so do others give their vote to that person, guess what? That person wins. Yeah. It doesn't matter whether they're Democrat, Republican, Independent, yeah. or, or whatever. They win. That's, that's how, how it's done. That's how it's done. But we've forgotten. Because we got the two-party system. Okay. The two-party system. Are you a Burger King guy or what? Here? Burger King. He wishes he had a crown like me. No, I'm. I'm the. I am the undisputed. Well, we are collectively the undisputed kings of internet talk radio, progressive internet talk radio, and you could take that right to the bank, brother. Seriously, we pull no punches here. All right, now. Um, yeah, he, uh, I mean, he was razzle-dazzling me with all kinds of uh, political psychology, but mm. that uh, you simplified it. That's how people win. Exactly. You know, uh, wh regardless what party they're running uh, <clears throat> under, um, Ralph Nader is not fond of the idea of people settling and backing Hillary Clinton. And uh, Ralph Nader is usually pretty sharp cookies, usually, usually right on the money. I saw a video with him the other day, and he was a little, uh, he's a little uh, critical of Sanders. Because Sanders said he would, he would back, he, he might back or will back Hillary if she won the nomination. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the, he doesn't realize how much momentum he might have by mm -hmm. November. Mm -hmm. and, and also... Well, maybe he doesn't want to split the party because we put a Republican in. There's that to worry about, too. Well, yeah, uh, uh, yes, that's a reality yeah. that I understand what that gentleman was saying. Uh, that, is a re that is a sad, re well, a catastrophic reality Ugh. for the middle class and the poor, but um, us progressives with a mind, you know, free-thinking, independent people, um, um, we don't, we're sick and tired of, of settling for the lesser of two evils because it's still evil. 
I mean, uh, Hillary still wants to keep health care and education privatized. She still believes in privatization. She's Voucher schools, charter schools. Yeah. She's still a a corporatist uh, Democrat. Uh, you know, uh, her and Bill, her husband Bill were never progressives. So you're just getting the nicer side of the same coin. And by the way, ever since I was a kid, I always question this particular system in voting, and I always thought. Why do we need it? And we're, I'm talking about the Electoral College. We don't need it. The popular vote is is similar to the progressive tax system. You make more money, you pay more taxes. Well, the person who gets the most votes, like the football team that <laughs> scores the most points, wins. But the Electoral College was put in when, you know, when uh, travel was a problem. Okay? Isn't it part of the rigged system? No. It was part of the constitutional system. It was put into place. You know, at um, the time. Now you don't that's not the issue anymore in high e exactly. In the days of high technology and uh So we need a constitutional amendment to change it. Because same thing we did with voting for senators. Because Al Gore technically won that election with the popular vote. He technically is the winner and G.W. Bush was selected by a, a corrupt was Supreme Court. That's correct. Yeah. So, so the actual winner by popular vote was Al Gore. Mm -hmm. Now you see. It's, it's <laughs> but Al Gore didn't get his lawyers down there. Republicans did. Al Gore. W. did. Went out. That's correct. He uh, uh, succeed uh, uh, not succeeded. He. Uh, um, he backed down, he quit. Gave up. He gave up, whatever words you want to use. Mm -hmm. Conceded, I'm sorry. The election. Cunt? 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 Yeah, you know what? He is a cunt for doing what he did. Huh. Because he could have fought that to tooth yeah. and nail. Absolutely. You know, I mean, come on. You win, you win by popular vote, and they decide, well... The powers that be don't want you to be president. They want to. They want the the grand puppet. They didn't so. want to recount. Okay, the Republicans. But you know something. <laughs> Republicans would would fight tooth and nail if if they lost an election. Mm -hmm. They do it all the time. Well, they try not to lose them anymore with the uh, 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 computer voting and gerrymandering and all that other crap that they go voter oh, uh, oh, suppression you know oh, you mean like the voter they try not to lose anymore like the voting booths in uh what is it north south carolina that people voted democrat and automatically the republican over, yeah. <laughs> the republican got the vote automatically where was it i saw a post uh, yesterday uh, uh someplace did something and long lines we're at the voting, wherever it was, really? deliberately. There was, there was a little sabotage going on? Sabotaging, yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Which they want to do in 2016, too. Oh, definitely, you know. definitely. Hey, look, I don't know how valid this, this article is, but uh, uh, if Donald Trump wants uh, Sarah Palin in his cabinet... Secretary of State. No, 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 no it can't be true, really? They, there Secretary was a post up there. They had six of them. Him as president, a vice president he chose, and Sarah Palin, and and a, another, and another, and another. I think Donald six. Trump. I think six Donald candidate. Trump should offer Sarah Palin and her daughter Bristol the job as being his uh, official presidential bed warmer. She belongs in a kitchen cabinet. Sarah is uh, starting to put the dog on. You mean she's showing her age? She's starting to show. She's her getting age. shriveled. Yeah, yeah. All that cold air up in Alaska, in could Alaska, be, be, Alaska, be, drying be. out his skin. Could All be. right, he should just uh, then he sh he could make Bristol his bed warmer. 
If his wife doesn't mind, I mean. Well, she's pregnant again. She got, oh, illegitimately knocked up? Well, I don't know if it's illegitimate. I don't know who's knocking her up. Has she got a husband? Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I know Chelsea's having a second. Yeah, but that's legal, legitimate. But she's but she's married. Yeah. Some some rich Zionist family or something. Yeah. Some Jew guy. Me. You know, but uh, um. No, Bristol is not. Um, well, Bristol, uh, according to the post I saw yesterday, uh, basically since she was raised uh, abstinence only and etc., she doesn't know how it happens. Okay. So somebody's putting a dork in there, so, so and you know, uh, squirting uh, two hundred million scum guppies, scum guppies, and uh, one of them are taken twice already. So in other words, she still thinks like the stork brings the baby to the most hospital. Most likely, most likely, <laughs> she hasn't made the connection yet between the dork and the scum guppies and and and, and, and the big belly. Okay. <laughs> So she's that naive, huh? That's what it looks like. She, she, uh, Unless it's deliberate. She never took any moose cock while she was living, growing up in Alaska? It might be a, 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 a whatchamacallit, a reaction formation against her mother. Could be rebellious. That's what it is. Because... Reaction formation. Because, um... Okay. I uh, know personally of a uh, an adopted female who was adopted by a, a financially uh, independent parents, mm -hmm. very very financially independent parents, who happened to be right wing Republicans and evangelical holy rollers, and she uh, when she became a teenager ever. If, Ever, I mean, from teenage years to adulthood, she had nothing but dysfunction, rebellion, picking the worst possible men to go out with and, and marry. Bingo, bingo. So, rebellion against the uh, uh, heavy authoritative hand mm. of the uh, right wing uh, fundamentalist religious nut parents. Mm -hmm. That's what usually happens. Because uh, they are, they're usually uh, very anti-sensuality, anti-sex, mm -hmm. and uh, you know they these these kids they just all their hormones get bottled up, and they and it makes it more when it, when it becomes taboo, it makes it more enticing to break the rules. You know, it's my take on it. I mean, if there's any putting one over on any social workers yeah. out there uh, or psychologists, you're free to 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 leave a message based uh, on this. But it's my hunch that they're rebelling. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the girls that are very scantily clad when they're young. When they're young, there's there's a rebellion going on there. Like in other words, the attention. In other words, negative. Infamous attention is better than no attention. Maybe that's their way of uh, compensating for a lack of love. How come, though, you don't see any of that in the Arab countries? Because they threaten to kill them. Because they, 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 uh, if they rebel against that idea, they get stoned. Chop their head off? Well, there's not enough... Even in even the uh, uh, um, extreme uh, Muslim extremists living in the United States, that woman had acid thrown in her face by her husband, mm -hmm. just because yeah. just because she left the house without him. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, there uh, 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 it's not like India where you had a mob scene. Well, you also have a high population. A mob scene of very angry Indian women that were protesting in, in a violent way against uh, their role in society there as second-class citizens uh, uh, having no rights being raped and, and justice not uh, um, seeking restitution for their uh, uh, rape by men you know what I mean they just uh, how's they, that going 
I only heard about it once. I really don't know if... Because uh, as far as I know, nothing's changed. Well, let me tell you something. I'm very glad you said that because um, I know there's someone in, I know someone who I'm related to mm -hmm. that is, I, I am convinced, is afraid of his wife. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, but he's not only henpecked, but he's pussy whipped. And uh, after many years of marriage, he, you know, he finally was talking tough hey. about changing things. Uh, you know, I can't take it anymore. I, enough is enough is enough. Well, guess what? She still has control. She's still winning. Winning, winning. I sound like Charlie Sheen and Donald Trump, right? Winner, winner. I'm winning, winning, winning. Why do they win? Why do these men... Look, when do people finally wake up and smell that coffee when they're and, dead in other words they don't change according to human psychology in they the resurrection they awake why don't they grow a backbone why why do, do they enjoy being uh, um, um, uh, masochistic could be could be is there some kind of uh, contentment in being a masochist could be maybe they have a problem of control they can't, they, they, they can't take control. They can't make decisions, maybe. They can't make decisions. You know what I mean? Maybe they came from an authoritative background where someone else always made the decisions. Yeah, like that many, show. Many, many things. Like that show, Everybody Loves Raymond. Ugh. He's afraid of his mother, and he's afraid of his wife. That whiny, uh, 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 that whiny, pussy-whipped, Mama's boy Ray Romano. He's afraid of both of them, and Robert is a little afraid. But he, uh, Robert, tells his mother off. He screams, yells, you know, and 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 Robert is more manly. But I'm saying Ray is, is, is the uh, in the whole entire show. He was always afraid of both. When Deborah got angry, he freaked out. When his mother was uh, laying a guilt trip on him and was upset with him, he freaked out. You know, but it's just amazing how they don't learn and they never change. And uh, it's it's also probably similar to the poor people living in shacks in Kentucky and these all these. Uh, I don't even want to call them Bible Belt red states because. It, it, there's nothing about the Bible that is involved with their religion. It's a cult, evangelical cult. They're poor as poor can be. Every year they get more poor, uh, poorer, if, they, if that's a word. But they continue to vote for the people that could care less if they die. The people that are always for the rich, and they continue to vote for them. They're on food stamps. They're on Social Security, they're on Medicaid, they're on uh, uh, any other kind of government programs. All, all the above. And they, and, and, they say, and they say they've never gotten anything from the government. <laughs> well, uh, uh, like Martin Luther King said once, the, um, the rich and Republicans, the rich really do like socialism when, when it's something going to them. When it's something going into their hands, yeah. but for for the um, the poor and the middle class, they believe in rugged individualism. Mm-hmm. Pull yourself up by the booty straps. Right, and and you're Stop always being lazy. Right, like this, like the job market is so wonderful out there today in America, America. Uh, again. I, I mentioned it before. I don't. I'm not sure if I mentioned it last Saturday, but Chisler's Hall of Shame, uh, uh, Wisconsin. Shame on you, uh, wanting to make uh, uh, seafood and potatoes and ketchup a luxury for people on food stamps, denying them the ability to purchase the lowly peasant food, the white potato and the peasant condiment ketchup and uh, I think cold cuts are, are they want that to be taboo uh, seafood is one of them 
seafood, cold cuts, shellfish, steak. Yeah, yeah, you know, but but potatoes and ketchup. Mm -hmm. Well, my take is they're going to continue until there is no food stamps for the poor. Yeah, that's it. Now you're understanding what's the, going on. Gradually, gradually, gradually. In 